you need a more stepwise, measured, deliberate approach like many things in life. Keep holding down the pedal as you lift your hand. To Hello everyone, I'm Mami at New Tips Piano Series. This is going to be a piano lesson on pedaling for the beginner. I already have two videos on the advanced pedal techniques. And this one in particular, I talked about how to pedal badly to create good effects. It might sound slightly confusing, but what I wanted to say in that video was sometimes you might try the opposite of what is considered good to create an exciting performance. I believe in variety. Do you always want beautiful sounds? There might be a place for a percussive and ugly sound if the music calls for it. You might want boring bits in a concert in order to make the excitement even more intense. What do you think? So that video was about how to break the rules. But actually you cannot break the rules unless you know them in the first place. So I will show you today the very basic pedaling methods that everyone needs to know. If you want to explore further, please watch my other videos and I will put the links down below. And if you have enjoyed my videos, if you have found them useful, please subscribe to my channel. I have a pedal angle today so you can study the exact timing of when my foot goes up and down. In this episode, I'm going to talk about Number one, the correct way to pedal and the common mistake by a beginner pianist. Number two, the simple exercise you can try at home. Number three, the workable pedaling. And at the end, as a bonus feature, we will try the pedaling on a simple piece. So by watching this episode, you will learn the basic pedaling technique as well as how this may be applied to an actual piece. So do watch until the end. First of all, when we say the pedal, it means the right pedal. No matter how many pedals there are on your piano, never mind the other two, we are always going to go for the right pedal. And when I say the basic pedaling, this is what is known as the legato or syncopated pedaling. And you need to master this kind of pedaling before trying any other types of pedaling. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so the basic principle you need to know is that you change the pedal when you have a new harmony, the pedal can be notated with these signs, and this is where you change the pedal, up, down, and keep your heel on the floor, don't lift the whole foot like this. And the most important thing you need to know is that the hand and the foot move in opposite directions. Listen to what happens if you don't do this and if the hands and the foot move in the same direction. Did you hear a gap in the sound every time I lifted the pedal? This is a common problem faced by a beginner pianist. If the pedal is released at the same time as your hands come off, then this will create a gap and we don't want that. This piece is set for grade 3 and we are going to come back to it later on and I will show you exactly how to pedal this piece. But I'm now going to show you a simple exercise you can try at home to practice the correct pedaling. Take a scale, it can be anything, let's say F major, and we're going to play the scale using one finger. Without the pedal, the notes are all separated, and now we are trying to connect the sounds using the pedal. And remember, your hand and the foot go opposite directions. We never meet, like me and my loved one. So when my hand goes down, that's exactly when the foot comes up, exactly at the same time, opposite directions. Another thing you need to know is that the foot follows the hand. The kind of pedaling we want to avoid is what I call the workable pedaling. This is another way of saying pedaling too soon. You know in the game of workable, as the balls come out, you try to hit them at lightning speed. And a lot of people do that when it comes to the piano pedaling. As soon as the hand goes down and you hear the sound, your foot tries to catch it fast and pedal as quickly as possible. This creates a very messy sound, so don't do that. You need a more stepwise, measured, deliberate approach like many things in life. This is not a game of reflex. 
this is a game of refinement and listening. Or playing something like this, this is a correct pedaling. Oh, well, I would do very good pedaling. You see, the foot came quite a lot later than the hands, especially in this register of the piano you want to pedal cleanly. Now, I will do the work on pedaling, which you don't want. This is an awful sound, all the harmonies mixed together. We hear this kind of pedaling quite often, sometimes even by fairly advanced pianists, pedaling too eager and too soon. Just wait a bit. Yes, there are situations when we pedal at the same time as the hands or before. But let's talk about that some other time. At the beginner's level, this is all you need to know. To avoid a gap in the sound when you change the pedal, make sure your hands and the foot move in opposite directions and the foot follows the hands quite slowly later. And you will be able to pedal very beautifully. I have said all I wanted to say today, but if you are prepared to stick around with me for a bit, I will show you this pedal technique applied to an easy piece in the bonus section at the end. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for your support for this channel. I hope this video has been helpful and if you want to request a topic, please write in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good practice. This piece is set for grade 3 in the current ABRSM syllabus, Anastasia, which I was trying to play earlier, and I will link the details in the description section. So the first four bars look like this, and where you change the pedal at the beginning of each bar, that's when you make sure your hands and foot move in opposite directions, so you do that against the bass notes. Practice just the left hand. holding down the pedal as you lift your hand to avoid a gap in the sound and when your hand goes down to play the bass note in the next bar that's exactly when your foot goes up and then your foot comes down on the second beat with the chord counting three in a bar one two three one two three one two three, one, two, three. up down You see, I didn't do whack-a-mole. <laughs> Doing whack-a-mole is quite difficult for me <laughs> because I have bad reflex.